Hi, the other day when I got out of my truck, I noticed that this fuel door was flapping loose. There's a spring in that door that apparently has broken. I went ahead and ordered a part, and I'm gonna show you how to install that today. Let's get started. Okay, let's quickly review the materials and equipment that you're gonna need for this project. First of all, you're gonna need the original GMC part number 1552-1575. You'll need the uh, T30 socket along with a ratchet. You're gonna need a flathead screwdriver. And then for safety reasons, you're gonna need the gloves and safety glasses. So the first thing we need to do is to remove these two T30 Torx screws that hold the door in place. Okay, I'm gonna provide a little bit of narrative to this part. This is where I'm using WD-40 when I should have been using penetrating oil. And I should have also waited a while while the penetrating oil worked in. But being in a hurry, I proceeded on even though this torque screw was extremely hard to turn. And about right here is where I should have stopped and done something differently. Yep, that was the head of the torque screw you saw falling to the floor. Oh, sh And that was an expletive that I filtered out. So I went on and I loosened the filler neck screws so that I could get enough space between the filler neck and the, the fender to be able to remove the uh, lid or the fuel door. And this was a struggle to get out. So at this point you need to remove the old spring. And I look down here and there is really not much left of that spring. Uh, there you see it's just a rusted piece of spring. Not much there. Once I removed the old spring, the first order of business was to put a slot in what was remaining of that torque screw so that I could use my screwdriver and try to back it out. And oh, by the way, I did soak it with some penetrating oil, but it wasn't enough. So I decided to apply a little bit of heat to it. That usually causes it to be able to uh, free up. So I heated up real good, applied a little more penetrating oil, let it sit for a while. And uh, I was then able to back out the, uh, the stud. With the stud out, the next order of business was to put the spring clip in. And uh, putting the spring clip in was uh, quite a challenge. But I persisted and uh, was able to get the tabs in. That's the first part. And that's the, uh, the easiest part, actually. Okay, with the tabs in, the next job is to push that clip uh, into the slot. You gotta push it down with the screwdriver. And it's very difficult to do. That I tried to uh, push it with a single hand and that wasn't enough. And then I had to resort to doing it two-handed. And eventually, as you can see here, I was able to get it in place. So with my spring clip in, I tried it a few times and it was working nicely. So it's time to put her back in. So with the uh, filler neck loose, I was able to get it back in place. And I put the unbroken torque screw in first on the top.
And then I was able to find another bolt that's fine threaded and also found a rubber washer. Most of these torque screws have the uh, washers, the rubber on the bottom, so I, I thought it best to find a rubber washer to stick on this makeshift uh, bolt in place of my former torque screw. With that tightened down, it's just a matter of retightening the uh, screws that hold in the filler neck. And it looks like that'll do it. All right, with it all back together here, we'll wrap this video up. If this was helpful to you, consider giving it a like. And uh, if you are a homeowner who does DIY projects from time to time, you might want to subscribe. That way you won't miss any upcoming content. Hey, we'll see you next time.